Would you like to look at one of the strangest cross merchandising Star Wars items ever? I know I would, so let's take a look at it. I guess it was about a year or two ago, I told you about one of the strangest promotions that was done. It was a Spanish release of Colgate the toothpaste that came with a free Star Wars figure. The most common is Biff Fatuna, but a few others were uh, packaged with Colgate's toothpaste. Man, that's kind of weird. And I know you probably thought, man, that is as strange as it's going to get. Toothpaste with a free Star Wars figure. I mean, it's not really that odd. I mean, it's kind of odd they put Bib for tuna in it. Maybe it's a way to tell kids, hey, your breath smells like tuna, Bib. I don't know. The Bib part probably didn't need to be in there for a good joke. But you get what I'm saying. But there's something I think is a little bit more stranger than toothpaste that came with a Star Wars figure. We're gonna, for this one, we're gonna go over to Italy. That's right, Marui Mocapadant. That we're going to Italy. Au revoir! Au revoir, baby! Au revoir! So, we're in Italy. And this is around 1984 into 1985. And the toy company that produced and sold the Star Wars toys over there teamed up with a glue company. I'm gonna say it's called UHU Glue. I don't know if he's supposed to say it, Una Glue, I don't know. So I'm just gonna say UHU Glue. This was a company founded in 1932, but I won't get all into the story about the glue company because I'm here to tell you about the time they teamed up with a toy company. So if you bought a glue stick, you got two glue sticks for the price of one, and you also got a free Ewok action figure. Sorry if you're into aliens, sorry if you're into bounty hunters, sorry if you're into the heroes, the rebels, or the empire, whatever one you saw as heroes, or you're into villains like Snaggletooth. Nope, you had to get an Ewok. Only Ewoks came packed with two glue sticks. And although I've seen collectors say that all the Ewoks released, all eight Ewoks ended up being on this card that came with the glue sticks, I only could find about five different ones. But these are extremely rare, so and they might be out there. I could find no photo evidence of them. Again, so take that as they might be all eight of them. It might not. And I'm sure somebody will see this video and send me a picture of, hey, I got Wicked on the glue card. So let's take a look at these Ewok figures that came with a glue stick. As you can see here, the Ewoks came with two glue sticks. That right, two glue sticks. Although some of the Ewoks are bagged inside the bubble, most of them came normally loose, like a normal figure. And as you can tell from these pictures here, they were on a action figure style card with the bubble and everything. And even has a back photo to promote some more of the Ewoks and Return of the Jedi stuff that was for sale. And let's look at some of the Ewoks that I know are on card. We've got Low Gray, one of the most famous Ewoks. Then you have Luman who I like to call Lamont. I know his name's not Lamont, but I think it fits the figure better than Lomat, whatever a Lomat is. And of course, probably one of the most famous Ewoks of them all besides Wicked is Paplu. And here he is right here with his free glue stick. And then you have Tebow, another famous Ewok. And you can't forget the lovable but crazy Warak. Again, I hope I said that right. I probably didn't. Who cares? We just call them Ewoks. Who really cares about the names of each Ewok if it's not Wicked Warwick, right? Now, I can't tell you that this cross-promotion helps sell more glue sticks or more Star Wars action figures. But it is one of the oddest cross-merchandise items I've ever seen, at least when it comes to Star Wars. Now, not only is this one of the oddest cross-merchandise things I've ever seen related to Star Wars, it's probably one of the oddest things I've ever seen with a Star Wars logo on it. Oh, wait. There, there was this. <laughs> My question is, was this a free Ewok with a glue stick? Or a free glue stick with an Ewok? Hmm. I guess any way you want to look at it. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Do you own any of these? Do you have them in your collection? Did you know about them? And now that you do know about them, do you want them in your collection? After all, they're Ewoks. If it was a Boba Fett that came with a glue stick, probably one be one of the rarest, most valuable action figures in any collection. Junk man. 
Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.